This lady just walked up to me as I was walking up here and she asked me that was this my red pickup truck over here. I said, yeah. She said someone just backed into it. What the f Yeah. They hate when you elevate. They stacking up losses, I'm handing them out, yeah, I had to go delegate. They feel like I'm floating, I'm lost in the moment, I swear I could levitate. They never believed that I would really fly. I had to go when I die, they won't cry unless they come in with slugs. What's good, guys? What's good, YouTube? Happy Friday vibes, man. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, blessed, and amazing day today, man. Yo, me and my little ones, we just now getting out the house. Oh, nope, nope, we went to the store earlier. We went to the Dollar Tree store, because we had to get some items for the crib, man. You know, soap, toilet tissue, dish liquid, toilet bowl fresheners. Y'all know I like to keep those blue things in my toilet that makes my water turn blue. I don't think they do anything else except make your toilet turn blue. When you flush the toilet, it looks all pretty. So I had to get the blue ones, and then I get the little bleach fresheners i think the bleach fresheners actually do something to the toilet uh instead of just sitting there making the toilet look pretty anyway what's up oh look at him guy oh you ain't got nothing to say d you got something to say man yeah hi 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 you want to say hi he got his little teddy bear hi oh you said hi yeah guys so anyway i just got to this car wash I just got to this car wash. Obviously, I'm not gonna wash my car because it's about to rain today. But the inside, you know what? I'll just show you guys, man, why I'm not washing my car. I'm only gonna do one thing to it and one thing only because my little man, he done got me good, man. Let me show y'all what he did to my truck, man. I'm just gonna show you real quick. Man. The rain actually cleaned my truck a little bit, but let me show y'all the inside. Look, what y'all see, man? Look what he did to me, man. Look at that. Look, look, look at this, man. Look, look at this. Look at this. Look at this, man. Look at this. Look at this. You enjoy yourself tearing daddy truck up or messing it up, putting chips everywhere? Huh? 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 You enjoy it? You enjoy it? You enjoy it? Huh? I don't let you take that seatbelt off. Look, uh uh. We're not going bye bye yet. Daddy just gonna back in the truck out. Self integrated. <laughs> How you gonna do this to the teddy bear, man? Huh? Hmm? Dion, how you gonna look, look, Dion. Boing ring ring, boing ring ring, boing ring ring, boing ring 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 ring, boing 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 ring ring. Here, boy. So, man, listen, man, he done jacked my little truck up. Did you just throw this at? Throw it at me again. I dare you. Okay, you want some beef with me, little boy? Don't throw my teddy bear at me. Your teddy bear at me again. Shoot. Throw it one more time and watch this. It's about to be a war. It's about to be a war up in here. But anyway, guys. I'm about to ready to shut this off because when I turn that vacuum on, it's going to drain the hell out of my video. Guys, listen, we is in the hood, man. Listen, we in the hood, bro. Oh, it's starting to rain, guys. I better hurry up. We in the hood, man. For real, for real. You know it's gangster when you see, listen. When you see a car wash like that, you know it's gangster. It's gangster over here. They got the used car dealership right next door to me, man. You know it's gangster. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Check us out, man. A few minutes later. <laughs> A few minutes later. You guys think man i'm still kind of hesitant i'm a little i'm not up i'm not gonna say that i'm upset or i'm disappointed but i really wanted him to have a tablet i really did and it's not that i keep him on a tablet all day long i know some parents they'll give their child a tablet and let them just like all day long but i give it to him at a certain time he watches abc's on there he likes to sing but the way that he threw that thing and broke it, it was a little disappointing for me because I know he always wanted one and I wanted him to have one. 
So what do you think, Dion? Should I get you another one? So they got one right here, not being cheap, but hell, if he's gonna break it again, I'm not gonna spend hundreds of dollars. They got one right here for $59. I don't like it because it's too small. And I do want something similar to this. And I wonder if I buy this, would it actually, uh, that's not a really tough case on there. This case looks tough, but it's not, it's, it's rubber. So I feel like if he drop it, then I'll break it. Let's look down here real quick, daddy. Let's see, kids tablet. Okay, you work here? I'm sorry, my apologies. So this is another kid's tablet right here. They got the blue. I don't know if these actually have the case to them or it's just, or it's just displaying the case because this one says that it has a blue one because these right here, they don't display cases and they're the same price, see? 79 bucks. And these, here's an eight inch right here, but they don't have a case on them. So I'm wondering if these actually come with these cases on them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get him another one, but I'm not going to let him actually, I don't think he knows what it is while it's inside the box. So I think I'm going to take a chance and get him another one against my better judgment. Now, I did ask you guys a video or two ago when I told you about his tablet getting broke that if you guys thought I should get him another one or wait, I'm actually leaning towards getting him another one. So I'm, when this guy gets done, I'm going to have him come over here and see if we get another tablet real quick. The case is with us. Okay, let me get this blue one right here with the blue case, please. Right. Do I have to pay for that back here? Right yes. Now. Okay, cool. So, and that will be this one right here, correct? Yeah, that'll be that one. Okay. So this is the one we're going with, guys. We're gonna go with the one that has the blue case. Obviously, y'all know why I'm getting the blue case, because I love blue. Man, I don't know what it is, though, when I come in here, like sometimes when I come in here, the music is playing so low. Uh, but today the music is like really high in certain areas of the store But I do want to say this guys. I had my um, one of my television. Well my television in the front room I went about that TV stand several months ago for my front room And when I bought that TV stand, I never dropped my TV or nothing But I noticed that my TV's been going in and out in and out like 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 it's like it's like it's been glitching so I don't know if it's time for me to get another television. But the one in my front room, the one in my bedroom is a, oh my God, I got bright. The television in my bedroom is a 52. The one in my front room is a 50. And I actually bought both of those televisions brand new a few years ago. So I'm thinking one of them could be going out. But here's the thing why I brought the televisions up. It's because recently I was, uh, I'm, I said recently, I'm so distracted. I came into the, the store here at Walmart. When I came in the doors, bro, they had a 80 inch TV for, no, it was a 75 inch TV for like $439. And so I drove my truck today, but I'm, so I'm thinking about actually grabbing that television and taking it with me. And then the other television happened actually went out. Like I said, it's just glitching right now. So I'm thinking about actually taking that upstairs since I don't really use the loft area, and I may actually just put it up in my loft area. You know, I have relatives that want to come down and spend a few days with me. Ooh, let's go here. I'm not gonna get a whole bunch of stuff. They had some of these that was zero. I don't know if they got them right here. We're gonna go down here and look. That's crazy, I gotta talk loud because of the music, man. I'm not seeing the zero sugars that I, I did before. You know what I'm thinking? Oh, I do see it, whoa. Okay, okay. I know, Damien, you should have just turned the camera off. Oh, these hey. touch my shoes, man, okay. So I need a couple of meat items, guys. Again, I'm not gonna get a whole bunch of meat because Walmart is not the idea store that I wanna do my grocery shopping at this month. So this is what we got so far, guys. I know what you're gonna say. Pop's not good for you. I love my soda. We got the two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, pack of the Zero uh, Powerade, and then we got the same one right here. I got me two of the, um, is these 12, yeah, 12 packs of the Coke, and I got that sitting right there from my little man, so of course. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to go and find these juices. They got these juices, man. They like little cartons of juice. They cost like a dollar and something, maybe like a dollar and nine or 209. Dion loves them. One thing about children, man, you want to keep plenty of stuff for them to drink, fluids. Now, 
case anybody's wondering, does your son even drink water every single day? He drinks water every day, and that's why I always say, don't really judge a video based off of what you see in a 15 minute video. Because what you see in a 15 minute video or even a 20 minute video, it doesn't tell the true story of like what really goes on all day. For instance, if you guys may see him with a cup drinking orange juice or something like that, it doesn't mean that he drinks orange juice all day. It just means that he's drinking it for that moment while I'm doing that video. So I do give him other things to drink besides juice. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you about this. I have a slick way that somebody in the comments told me on how to get him to drink more water. So what I do is I will fill his cup up with water, about 85% water, and then I will pull some slick stuff. I will take a little bit of juice and pour it in this cup. Something just to turn the water a different color. Ooh, somebody smell like a pound of weed. Check it out, guys. Reality. Reality's kicking in. Look, we gobble, gobble, gobble. They got that turkey out, man. Mm-hmm. They got the turkey out for the holidays. I think these are the, are these the butterball? Yes, these are the butterball, butterball turkeys. They have them all ready for the holidays. Then they have the off-brand. Oh, no, honeysuckle's not really an off-brand. Honeysuckle's a pretty good turkey. Mm-hmm. So if you guys are hunting for your turkey, slide on over here to the Walmart. You know what? I'm running low on shrimp. Just so happen. And yes, I eat a lot of shrimp, guys. Sometimes I just fry. Ugh, look at this. Oh. I wish I would. I wish I would eat that. I eat a lot of shrimp, guys. Sometimes I just, I would just make me a shrimp basket at home. No fish or nothing. I would literally just make a shrimp basket with maybe 20 or 30 shrimp. I would put them in a bowl and I would sit there on the couch and I would just enjoy me a shrimp basket. So we are about to find some, again, just a couple packs of meat for the freezer. I am leaning towards making spaghetti or chili because the weather is changing. So that'd be, uh, I'm gonna get the two smaller packs because sometimes I don't use a whole ground, the whole pack of ground beef. And I can just like decide if I want to use both packs at the time or just store the other one away. They got them good steaks. I love steaks, but I've already got steaks at home. So we don't need no steaks. Mm, what is this? Hold on. What is this thing right here? Is this a uh, beef top sirloin? Oh my, it's 31 bucks. I don't know, man. Top. Oh, wow. I wonder if I should get this. If, if I buy this, I would have to really cook this. It has to be a very, very special moment. I mean, God. I don't even have the right equipment to cut this thing up if I were to get it right here. It does look good, but I think we're going to go ahead and pass on that for right now. And then you have some steak that's this color. Looks like the the food coloring is starting to change. See the difference? Big difference. And I was fooled because I used to always think the meat was going bad. But, I mean, it does mean that the meat is kind of going past its date, but it also means that the food coloring is starting to wear out. Now, we might try to, these are short ribs. I'm actually gonna go with a couple packs of these short ribs for the freezer. That's something that I do not have in my freezers, the short ribs. These things are kind of expensive, man. Sheesh. I'm just gonna get two packs. Actually, I wanna get two packs. This one has one, two, three, four. This one has three. So we're gonna go with a pack that has more than three. Or do they have another pack that got more than three? Nope, but I need more meat. So we'll go with this one has more meat on it. Yes, sir. Get your butt in this part. Y'all notice Deanna starting to quiet down. It's because it's close to his nap time. So we're gonna go over here. I wanted some more oxtails, but I still have some oxtails at home in the freezer. Let's see here. They got these turkey legs. I was going to do turkey legs today, but I've already got turkey legs at home. Let's see here. Ribs. I have no packs of ribs at home. 
So I may go ahead and go with, no, those are not the ones I usually get. I like the country style. The baby backs is good, but I'm more of a country style or spare rib type of person. Ah, oh, the St. Louis. Okay, here's a pack of St. Louis. Four, 10 something. If I can find one more pack of St. Louis, we in there. Hold on, daddy. I know you sleepy. Oh, here we go. Oh, that's, why is that one 15 bucks though? Okay, here's another pack of St. Louis's for 12 bucks. So we're gonna go with two packs of the St. Louis. And I will be putting those on my grill sometime soon. Then some chicken. I actually got chicken at home on thawing in the sink. Hope they got the smaller packs of chicken wings. These are cool, but I'd rather already get them. The shorter packs is already broke down. Oh, this is even better. Well, I found one pack of the chicken wings that's already broken up. Chicken fingers, chicken legs, feet, chicken feet, I mean. If I can find some more packs of these that's already pre-cut, we in there. Oh, 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 here we go. These motherfuckers are expensive though, man, goodness. That's 20 bucks right there, just for those two packs, bro. I just said I was not gonna make this the store where I do my monthly shopping at, but I think I'm gonna make that it for now, guys. We got maybe a couple hundred bucks worth of stuff in the cart, so. This lady just walked up to me as I was walking up here, and she asked me that was this my red pickup truck over here. I said, yeah. She said someone just backed into it. What the? Yep, somebody backed into my truck, guys. Yep, you can see the marks clear as day. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Yep, somebody hit my truck. See this big old gap right here? Somebody just hit my truck. Idiots, look at this shit right here. Oh my God. I can put my whole hand in right here. See this? Come over to this side right here. Flush. Yep, yep, they sure, look. Look at this going all the way across. That's sad. It damaged the plastic right here and pushed the metal bumper in. Jesus Christ. When it rains, it pours, right? When it rains, it pours. I'm guessing I'm getting karma for something. Yeah, let me walk around it. This is my worst fit. Well, nope. One, one of my worst fears is coming to Walmart. Walmarts and HE, no, not Walmart. HEB is extremely notorious for being known for people will steal your tailgate off your truck, especially F 150s. This is a very popular truck. Right here in Texas, the F 150 is extremely popular truck. One of the things that people are known for stealing out here in Texas is your trunk gate off your truck. Even though I keep mines locked all the time, this is what people are notorious. Man, this man, I'm so freaking pissed. The disrespect, man. The disrespect. This only has like little marks, like the paint's gone in some areas right here. So this must have been the side where they really backed into it. Really good right here. Wow. You ready to go home? It's time to take a nap, okay? Time to take a nap. Can't win for nothing, man. Only in Texas, only in Texas. I can see exactly what probably happened. Somebody probably was trying to, you know what I don't get though, man? Like, like how can you even hit my truck? But why do you gotta park so close to my truck? Even behind my truck, there's, there's room right here. There's room right here. Why do you have to park right behind my truck? That's what I be saying, man. It's some idiots out here, man. Like, it's hundreds of parking spaces to where you don't have to park so close. So they parked right behind my truck, tried to pull in or back in or whatever and hit my damn truck with all, look at this. It makes no sense to me, man. Parking spaces everywhere, everywhere. Is this even worth me even calling my insurance company? Probably not. You know why? Because they're probably going to charge me a 500 to a thousand freaking dollar deductible and probably do a thousand dollars worth of work. So you know what? It wouldn't even be worth my time. I am so pissed. Well, guys, I'm finally back home. Dion is in a bad sleep, man. Um, I got him home just in time. He fell asleep in his car seat like three minutes from my house. 
Man, you know what? I am so freaking upset about my truck getting hit like that. But I guess I should count my blessings, man. I should be really counting my blessings because, you know, at least we wasn't driving when the truck got hit and no one got hurt. So I guess if I really think about it, that's what's really most important. We wasn't driving, nobody got hurt. I didn't get hurt or the person who hit my truck didn't get hurt. At least I don't think he or she got hurt, but it's just really sad because, you know, the lady, I wouldn't even have noticed the dent in the back of my truck until I was actually a few feet from my truck and another lady was getting out of her car with some kids and she happened to see my truck, the only one in that spot. So obviously she figured it was my truck. So she was like, hey, someone just hit the back of your truck, sir. I'm like, huh? So, but it's just sad, man. I'm sure whoever hit it probably didn't have insurance. If I had a little bit damage to the back of my truck like I did, I'm sure whoever this person was had damage to their vehicles. Um, so they probably didn't have insurance. They probably didn't have any financial responsibility. So a lot of people rolling like that. I was once one of those people too. So I'm not knocking them or whatever. But anyway, this is the few items I got guys before I end this little video off. Guys, see, I got my little zero. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. What y'all think of my little iron, man? Y'all know I actually use this. I actually use this itty bitty iron. This was supposed to been for a shirt because I was going to make my own shirts at one time. And I was going to make my own Cryer family hoodies and iron my own stuff on it. So I ended up buying this little iron about three years ago. And sometimes when I take my shirts out the dryer and they're still a little bit wrinkled, yes, I do use my itty bitty iron. So guess what? I got an itty bitty grill that works just fine. And I got a little bitty iron that works fine. You know why? You know why? Y'all can say it. It's not about the process. It's about the results. So I got these zeros right here. Little Powerade or Gatorade, whichever one they are. Um, I got Dion's new tablet right here. I'm gonna put this together and let it charge while he sleep, and put all his little pa put my little passcodes and stuff in there. Got him some of that minute. Well, me some minute made. Of course, I had to get those shrimp. I love my shrimp basket. I actually like eating shrimp and chicken wings. Speaking of chicken wings, you already know what time it is, man. Got a couple slabs of ribs from my little bitty grill. And I also got these short ribs. These little short ribs was literally more just as expensive as the slabs. Look, a slab of ribs was like 12 bucks, right? One, two, three, four of these short ribs. They got a lot of meat on them, though. It's literally 12 bucks. Both packs was literally 12 bucks. I got these two little mini packs of ground beef for five. I think it was five forty nine dollars a piece. I can't remember. Um, so I got two packs of those. And I got my favorite drinks. I definitely got my favorite drinks. I still got some stuff in here, but as you guys can see, I keep a lot of water. So in case anybody's like, you didn't buy any water at the store, I have plenty of water. As you see, I was running out of soda back there. So that's that, and I still got a couple of snacks up here. I got my yogurt, which is my favorite, my swirl pudding. This is definitely one of my favorites, man. Y'all don't know nothing about that. But I was running low on the stuff that we get. Oh man, listen, I bought this stuff yesterday thinking that Dion was gonna like this stuff. Man, this is apple cider. Bro, this stuff is so freaking nasty. I'm never buying it again. I mean, I even, listen, you guys see how much of it's gone? Cause I poured myself a cup and threw it out. So I'm getting rid of that stuff, man. I'm not drinking that stuff. It's disgusting. But anyway, guys, word for the day before I go, man. For all of my fellow and female YouTubers out there, man, don't never let what people say about you stop you from talking your stuff on the internet, man. You can still talk your stuff, you know, and, and still be respectable with it, man. Don't let this internet run you away because I look at the internet, I see so many people have actually went away, man. I'm never gonna be ran off this platform, man. Never, I'm never. Only way I'm leaving this platform is if I get shut down. Always remember, man, your haters are your biggest supporters. Those are really your fan pages. If you really think about it, you have a bunch of fan pages, man. That's all it is, man. But anyway, I love you guys, man. Thank you for watching this video. Until next time, I'm Damian Cryer. Gang.